I'm just like, I'm just salty, dude. I'm just super salty about how GoldenEye is being chopped up and broken up into different pieces so that it could be like available only on certain platforms and stuff like that. Like, what, what, what are you doing? There's just like, it definitely has like corporate exclusion happening with this game. And it makes me super sad. Because like, why do you try to, why cut up such a beloved game that's 25 years old and it's, you know, people are gonna play for like the memories and then uh, they're gonna leave it off after that. Like, why not just try to make this game as accessible as possible? They said nothing about why it's not coming on PC. Why is the Switch only getting the online component? It's just sad, man. Come on. Do I have to go back and play Perfect Dark then? Is that what I need to do? Dude, I wanna play GoldenEye. I'm on PC. How is there not a PC version of this game? When you're able to upscale it to like 4K current frame rates and stuff like that. I don't, I don't get it, dude. Ugh. And it's on Rare. Dude, it's Rare. It's Rare Studios. They are the ones that made GoldenEye. They're with Microsoft. How's it not a PC version? It's like, look at this and tell me you don't want to play this. The memories right here are just all flooding back to me right now. Oh. If, if, you, if you, I know probably most of you have not played GoldenEye, but you definitely should. It's like, know your history coming soon to Xbox Game Pass. They didn't say anything about it though. Though it does say right down here, right? With GoldenEye 007 Interactive Games, 1997 to 2002, Dan Jang, it's like pronounce it in MGM. We're like the license holders of GoldenEye. Uh, it says it's up to 2002 when it comes to the copyright. So it should be coming out this year then. Like towards the end of this year then. But is it on rare replay? This is like a little thing. Cause it does say right here that deal is like if you have like a digital version of it, right? So it says 25 years after its original release, experience GoldenEye 007 Faithful recreated for Xbox consoles, including achievements, 4K resolution, and a smoother frame rate, even in split screen local multiplayer. God, it just hurts to read that as a Halo fan. Coming soon to Xbox Game Pass. That's actually tweeted out some more details saying not only that, We've been delighted to work with our friends at Nintendo again on GoldenEye 007. Simultaneous release for Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack members. I don't know what, the, what what's Expansion Pack? Plus Expansion Pack members? Is like a, a Switch thing? It's an extra Switch Online thing that gives you extra stuff like the 1064 games and some free DLCs. Oh, that just sounds like a scam, dude. Like 60, 70 bucks. That's just like their way of having to charge you like a live service model with, a, with a, just saying like, oh no, you're you're buying the content. You're not, not that you're paying for all the infrastructure. No, you're paying for the content. That's what you're paying for. Like, no, they're, they're making you pay for the service on that one. Uh, in case you want a more thorough mission debrief on this somewhat stealthy GoldenEye 007 announcement, Please take in this article that we've prepared for your eyes. Just like, ah, oh, look at this bat. Look at this. It's so, uh, I want to play this. Oh, it looks just like the original, but like, they like, look at these, look at these like henchmen and that these guys put in this game, dude. Oh my God. The memories, man. The memories right now. It's, uh, sexy health bars. I know, right? <laughs> oh man. Or this game alone got me into watching like, all the James Bond movies. It's like one of the better James Bond movies too. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you watch it. It's the only good Pierce Brosnan James Bond, but he does such a great job of being James Bond though. I still find him being like that quintessential Bond. Call me crazy on that one. Or I'm probably just letting nostalgia take over. But this is still like James Bond to me is Pierce Brosnan. It's just that his movies were bad. All right, so they said the summary is GoldenEye 007 is returning to the thrill of players old and new, a timeless stealth shooter, faithfully recreated new consoles coming soon to the Game Pass and stuff like that. Oh my God, damn, look at this, man, look at this. Did they wait, they didn't even bother to up res the ammo counter down here? They up res the entire game except for the ammo counter down here? Do you see how blurry this is? Modern gaming right here, baby. Look at how blurry the ammo counter is. It's like, you just can't recreate that. It's like a simple PNG, dude. Cause everyone's like, oh, chill, no, chill, dude. It's a beta, it's a beta, it's early access. It's not the final product, right? <laughs> the game's only like 25 years old. This, this is early access, okay? Take it easy. Don't get too, don't get too uh, harsh on them, okay? They're still developing it. Uh, players will guide James Bond on a global espionage mission to prevent the devastating power of the GoldenEye satellite from being unleashed. This is just the story, yeah. I know all about this. Cause the campaign mode, transformative difficulty levels and havoc, including cheats 
God, you remember cheats in games, dude? Now it's just, cheats are just like a credit card now. We, <laughs> that's how you cheat. That's what, that's where all the cheat codes went. Your cheat code is actually just the card number of your credit card. Havoc inducing cheats will make their return, as will the iconic split screen local multiplayer mode. Hersa Seda again as a, as a Halo fan. Allowing up to four players to take to the couch in a battle of wits and skill. Uh, that just like, as a Halo player, that just hurts so much to say. Let's see, the original experience has been updated with the improved controls options, including dual analog stick support, native 16 by nine resolution, 4K Ultra, were supported, were aware supported. I guess I mean, I guess maybe like, cause like the, uh, the Switch probably can't play in 4K, right? But you know, Xbox Series X can and Series S, right? So it's really just that platform. I, I mean, I don't know why you gotta be, say so vaguely like that when it's really like, we all know what you're talking about. Maybe the PC could run it on 4K too if you put it on PC, just saying. A consistent frame rate and full complement of achievements and to unlock. Okay, cool. So when they keep saying also uh, consistent refresh rate, that sounds kind of sus right there. It's like, hold up. Okay, why don't you just tell me what frame rate? Because that would make sense, right? If you're like, oh, the game's 60 frames or a game can go 120 frames or something like that. Because this is like, a, a, this game, you could run it like 300 frames a second, probably at 10, you know, 1080p or whatever. That's what I would love to do. But of course, this is limited to freaking consoles. So no, I can't do that. And this game originally ran at like maybe 30 frames. I remember a ton of frame drops happening with uh, Goldeneye on the original N64. Like whenever there was an explosion, like you're dropping down to like five frames a second. I remember that vividly with this game. It was crazy amount of frame drops that happened. So are they saying consistent refresh rate as in just like 30 frames? Yeah, like right here, it's like a consistent refresh rate, not promising any specific frame rate, but what is the frame rate? Are they just like struggling to try to get up to the higher ends until they don't want to make a promise of 120 when they can't do it? When I would think anything I think a phone would be able to run this game at 120. Totally not broken frame rate, right? <laughs> oh yeah, this is the first mission here too. When you pull up all these containers here. Yeah, I remember like, I was so young when I was playing this game. Like I didn't know how to actually complete this mission. It would kill me every time when it's like, all, all you have to do is just like, blow everything up and then just jump through a chute. And I was like so young, I just like couldn't figure it out and the gas would just kill me. Goldeneye 007 will be made available on the Xbox One and Series S and X as part of the Xbox Game Pass. Additionally, players who own a digital copy of Rare Replay, the 30 game compilation of classics from the award-winning studio behind Goldeneye 007's original release, will be able to download the entire and enjoy the game for free. Uh, Rare Replay is actually a really great deal. Uh, I believe I have like the disc version of it. Like wasn't Goldeneye notably missing from the Rare Replay disc, if I remember correctly? Cause that was released like during peak time of just like everyone doing a remaster of something. Yeah, so the absence of Donkey Kong Country, which was like a huge game back then, dude, that was a hugely popular game. And GoldenEye 007 due to the inevitable licensing issues. Thank you corporations for getting in the way of us having fun. Whether you're a veteran player or a rookie agent headed into the field, GoldenEye 007 is a legendary game in experience that deserves not to be missed. We'll have more information, including just when you can expect to step into 007's shoes. Uh, but my guess is that since I'm seeing all these different screenshots, I mean, either it's because it's the year 2022, but every single one of these screenshots down below has a trademark of 1962 to 2022 or 1997 to 2022. So that's my expectation to seeing this game still being released this fall. Uh, though when in fall, don't really know. Probably sometime before December would be my guess, just because rarely the games release in December, besides, unless you're Halo, because you're waiting to the last second to release your game, because it's still kind of busted. Ouch, but real, right? I know, it hurts. Sometimes the truth hurts there, Flag Runner. Oh, this is fantastic here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this video. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah. <laughs> The music goes so hard in this game. I know, right? You're like, oh shit. Don't forget, they made this back in the day when like only kids played video games, right? Like this, again, do I need to remind you about the intro music with this too? 
Listen, let's listen to this. This is how you start the game. Dude, actual Bond music wishes it was this good. Oh wait, last thing. Last thing here I want to talk about when it comes to Goldeneye. I'm still mad about this. So you would think, okay, there's no online component with the game, right? And you still have hopes. Well, time to lose all that hope right now because that's just not happening right now, <laughs> which is just like, it hits even harder. There's a, yeah, the online available only on the Nintendo Switch version of this game. And then it says right here, update, Microsoft has confirmed there are no plans to introduce multiplayer in the Xbox version. Bruh, just put it on PC then, man. Come on, man. Like sometimes you can hold out hope for a game, but that this game is like literally gonna just gonna launch and there's gonna be zero support to it. There's all, and which, I mean, I wouldn't expect there to be because I think it's more just kind of like a quick like, like, here you go, have this, have some fun you know, do what you want with it. So if you guys don't remember, this actually leaked out a long time ago. I totally forgot that it actually leaked out. saying like GoldenEye 007 Remastered just leaked how to play it right now. Like people could actually play this back in February. They figured out how to play this. Like that's how much of a leak this was where the game itself actually got released. Interesting thing, this picture looks completely different than the original game actually. So I think they said they were going to make, this was originally going to be an Xbox 360 like remaster and then just kind of got shelved for the longest time. Oh my God, look at this, General Heed. He has a video up about this. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. This looks so much better. To be honest. Look how much better this game looks like. How much detail they added like, in the skybox and stuff like that. It looks so much better. It's not just like a upscaling of the resolution like they kind of advertise it. Oh, whoa. You can actually like switch back and forth between like the updated and classic graphics. Oh, look at that. But the class, the updated graphics look rather faithful though. That's kind of crazy looking. I mean, if this is like the same Xbox 360 remastered that we never got that was leaked out, and when, when did this leak out here? Yeah, this is like the same thing. So pretty sure he's playing this on PC too, which makes it even more hurtful. Yeah, look at that. Look how much better the game looks. Or this is a remake. This isn't just like a remaster here. Oh God, this is the aiming mechanics. There's no aim assist either. <laughs> Forgot all about that. Wow, these look so much better. Dude, night and day difference. Holy crap, this is like an actual remaster of this game. This isn't just like some simple upscale or get some free money here. Really crazy how much better it looks. Oh, look, it got DK mode. Yes. Look how short he looks on the screen. <laughs> yeah, of course you gotta do slappers only, man. It's gonna be, of course, I was like mad about this game not being on PC or no, or I'm sorry, the... the online component not being on PC, but I'm like, would that actually work out all right? Like, cause GoldenEye is a total party game. It's not really meant to be like a game where you actually like try to do well in. Like, it's just a game where you just kind of blow stuff up and have some fun. But the thing is that like the get that leaked build, you had to download it and play it on PC. So you literally can play this game on PC and it's not coming on PC. What are you doing? Come on, man. What happened to unifying the gaming community here and having this all jump on and having some fun? Come on, man. Do I really have to dust off my old crappy Xbox and try to find my capture card, which I have no idea where it is? I would think that like a, a remaster of this game would be something kind of almost like a, like a love letter to the fans, right? Because they've tried to recreate a good James Bond game and experience since this game, and it's never really hit just right. Uh, was it Interactive Zero One's currently working on a new James Bond game? Yeah, IO Interactive are currently working on a new James Bond game, which if you guys don't know, IO Interactive are the same people who made Hitman, so that would totally work out with comes like the gameplay experience of Hitman to being on like a James Bond game. I think it would totally work out well. Now, when is it coming out? People don't really know. I'm sure we won't really hear anything about this until like the summertime of 2023 would be my guess. But I'm definitely excited about the Project 007 and see where it goes. If you wonder, it'd be actually kind of cool if you can have like different skins for your James Bond, right? Where you can, if they mauled it after the actors who played James Bond, so you can play like as your James Bond, right? Because every brother has their own version of like who they think is the best James Bond. There isn't just like one unified person. Like a lot of people will say Sean Connery. A lot of people will say uh, Daniel Craig currently and stuff like that, but now a whole lot of people will throw out the other ones like Roger Moore, Pierce Brosnan. I think that would be a really cool feature if they could find a way to make that work. Obviously, a whole heck of licensing issues when it comes to like using the likeness of actors within the movie, but maybe since it's under the James Bond franchise that they have the rights and so they can make it work, 
I don't know, but that would be something that I would love to see happen with the new James Bond game. Now, if you're a PC player, there was one way to play GoldenEye's multiplayer, and that was playing GoldenEye Source, which was a fan-created remastering of the multiplayer side of things when it comes to GoldenEye. This was like a true faithful recreation built in the Source engine. And I actually had to jump in and play this a little bit. The, the servers were rather low populated, so it was rather tough to find matches. But what I did, it was, you know, what you would expect. And it worked well with like mouse and keyboard controls and it played great. The frame rate was awesome. The gameplay was super fluid. And it had a server browser that you could just like jump in and just kind of play whatever mode that people were playing and stuff like that. The graphics were phenomenal for at the time when it first released, I think it was back in 2010 and it just kept getting iteration after iteration. And this was like fantastic. But then it had a cease and desist, which is super sad. And so people basically, it, that basically just killed the game right there. I think people can still download it, but they just can't really advertise like they're, or develop on it right now. Because this is the GoldenEye Source website right here, and the last update was back in August of 2017 right here. And it seems like you can still like download and play it on your own, but it doesn't seem like you'll be able to play on the servers or something. I don't know, there's a lot of, it's just weird because obviously since it had a season desist, it really just kind of killed the game. And I even checked out the Reddit page that they even have linked on here. And the Reddit is just as dead as uh, this this game right now, which is super sad. It's a shame that like this true recreation of the multiplayer just cannot be really be played functionally. But since the developers got a cease and desist, but they still want to create a James Bond-like game, decided to make this instead, which is basically, well, James Bond with just not being actually James Bond. The same look, feel, mechanics, and everything between. Just so they don't get the copyright cease and desist orders from large corporations trying to ruin all the fun for all of us. And I think it currently is in development, if I remember correctly. It's not fully released. Yeah, currently it's on a not release yet on the, you can put it on wish list right now. But I love how it says within the Steam right here, uh, description saying a retro FPS inspired by classic 1990s console shooters, explore new locales, accomplish varied objectives, and fight against state of the art 1997 anime AI. You can download the demo and play it, but I've heard things are kind of meh with it, but I think that could just be because of nostalgia not being being a factor where it could make it so this game doesn't feel as good as it actually does compared to like regular GoldenEye 64. Yeah, this should be a kind of an interesting thing to check out for sure if you ever want to jump in and play some GoldenEye-like experiences where if you want to be on, well, also be on PC, which Obviously, apparently is way too much of a hassle to do. I am willing to dig out my console for wherever it is back here to play that James Bond game. I would love to make a video on it as well to see how it plays out compared to how I remember back in the day and stuff like that. It just sucks that it's not coming to PC when it totally can. I don't know why it's not. Maybe there's some extra diff technical difficulties not allowing that to happen when it comes to being on PC. Like, why would it not? And then also you have the online components only being on the Switch. Like, what? That means you have this whole entire like infrastructure built to, for only Switch users. Why not? have it for xbox man is there an issue with like servers cross pollinating there is that the problem right there with nintendo's like oh nintendo uses like their servers and they don't want to use azure servers like microsoft does or something i, I don't know there's definitely some corporate screwery if that's even a word i don't know. try to keep it a little more pg <laughs> but like <laughs> well that's me being upset i'm still excited for the game but thank you for listening to my ted talk